Hi everybody, I'm back with another video. So, today's video is going is special to me because of what it's about. So, I feel like we as black women don't give ourselves enough credit. Um, we down ourselves too much. Um, we do too much to ourselves because of the things that people think about us, because of the things that people say about us, and because of, because of us not having love within ourselves. So, today's video is basically going to be about giving motivation and advice to the younger black females that are coming up in today's time we we get chastised we get talked about we get so much so many things done to us that it changes the way that we look at ourselves and the way that others look at ourselves. So, I wrote down a couple of things that I thought was important that younger black females growing up need to know. So, the first thing that I wrote down is you have to love yourself before you can love anyone else. Now, that is a big big must uh, most times we let we jump into relationships so fast and we don't even fully know ourselves I've done this myself so we don't we jump into these relationships things happen we let us uh, we put what we want aside and everything for others and it ends up being the problem because we don't love ourselves. Um, the next one is, baby, you are beautiful. Don't let anyone else tell you that you're not. Our black is beautiful. No matter what shade you are, you can be a light black, you can be a dark black. You're still beautiful. Um... Know your self-worth. You are worth so many things. No matter what the world tells you. No matter what your family tells you. No matter what you think about yourself. You are worth so much. The sky is the limit. Um, stay in. Staying is, okay, let me rephrase that. Staying with someone because you think that's what you deserve? No, no. You deserve so much more than what you think you do. Let me say it again. You deserve so much more than what you think that you do. I'm sorry about this, y'all. I wrote down a list of things. So. Yeah. Um, you are intelligent. As the people, as they would say on the movie The Help, you are kind, you are smart, you are important. And most, most important, you are intelligent. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. You're not dumb. You're not slow. You are very intelligent. Um, I, I feel this strongly. Never sacrifice your happiness for anyone. Your happiness is, is so much more than making other pe others feel good. Don't sacrifice your happiness to make 
this person in your relationship feel good. Don't sacrifice your happiness to make your kids feel good. Don't sacrifice your happiness for anyone. It's not worth it. What What's going to happen? You're not happy and everyone else around you is happy. Then what? Then what? That stuff catches up to people. Um, you're not an angry black, you're not an angry black woman. You're not bitter. We've had so many things done to us from racism to, um, to people thinking we're, to, to people thinking that we're beneath other races, to people think we're not worth these high priority jobs or higher up jobs to thinking we can't read to thinking we can't vote to thinking we can't do the things that men do baby do not believe that do not believe that do not believe that do not believe that whatsoever it's okay to ask for help a lot of us black women have this because of the way that we were taught. We don't like to ask for help. We like to we think that we have to do everything on our own and when the help is offered, we think that we we can't take it because of how we were raised. It's okay for help. Everybody needs help. Everybody needs help sometimes. It's okay to ask for help. You're not going to be chastised. You're not going to be talked down upon. It's okay. Um, don't let a man in his actions define who you are as a woman. Let that marinate. Don't lower your standards to please others. Always have high standards and high hopes for yourself. Don't let anyone dictate whether or not you you have high standards. Don't lower your standards to please other people. Um, that, hold on y'all, I'm sorry. I can't read my writing. I wrote all this stuff down. Um, mental health. I know in a lot of black families, people don't believe that mental health is an issue. And I feel like it's a major, major issue in black women because of the things that we go through. So... We have so many black women dealing with depression, um, bipolar, schizophrenic, schizophrenic, um, anxiety, all because of the things that we go through on a day-to-day -day basis. And we've learned from people in our family or from the people that raise us that although you're going through these things, you just have to deal with it. No, no, it's okay. We all go through it, not just black people, but other races as well. So we all go through these type of things. So mental health is not a bad thing. It's just you need, you know, you need a little bit more help, and that's okay. It's okay. Mental health is not a bad thing at all. Um, it's okay to talk to someone. We have this thing in, in the black community that... Whenever you're having a problem or something is going wrong or something happened to you, you have to ball it in, that you have to keep it within and not let anyone know or not talk about it. No, that type of thing is, it only just boils up, boils up till we eventually explode. And once we explode, then it's not a good thing because I know I've, I, true enough, I do this sometimes. I keep things in. I'm like me. I'm not an argumentative person. So, a lot of things I keep in 
because I don't want to argue about it. I don't want to talk about it until the point that I explode. And that's something that I have to learn that I I can't do it. It's okay to talk to somebody, to talk to therapy, to a therapist or anything. Anybody that helps you get those feelings out in the open. If you have to talk to them, talk to them. It's okay. Um, nap, nappy hair. Baby, your hair is not nappy. You don't have to perm your hair. You don't have to wear wigs. You don't have to wear um, tracks. Or you don't have to keep your hair braided or anything to satisfy anyone else. Else. Baby, our natural curly hair is beautiful. I love my, true enough, I used to be natural for, I was natural two years. And I wanted to cut my hair, so I ended up getting a perm. And I actually miss, I like having natural hair more than I do straight hair, coarse hair. So, I'm in the process of going back natural. So, I keep my hair braided so that I can, um, I don't want to cut my hair. So, I'm I'm keeping my hair braided and things so that the perm and everything can, like, grow out. Um, what else? Don't lose yourself in everyday life. Don't lose yourself in everyday life. Um, I had some flashcards where I wrote down. Oh, I know they many people expect for us black women to be these these strong people that somebody can always depend on everything. Yes, we are very strong people, but it's okay not to be strong all the time. We we need shoulders to cry on as well. We need people to help us out as well. We need, you know, we need that emotional and physical support as well as others. So, you don't have to be strong all the time in order to be considered a black woman. Because I know me. Since... I've been in my relationship. I've become this sensitive person. And anybody that knows me know I will tell you. I've become so sensitive that it's okay. It's okay because I have that strong black man behind me that is going to make sure that I'm okay. It's okay. Um, Submissive. We're expected to be the, well, that's anybody. So I wouldn't say submiss no submissive. Um, let me see. I think I, pff, I'm sorry about this, y'all. Oh, this one is a big one because I went through this myself. In no way, shape, form, or fashion should a man put his hands on a woman. So, with that being said, if he loves you, he's not going to hurt you. I dealt with this my from a past relationship. And I know they have it to where, you know, we we had this mentality that we can't get out where that um he, he loves me. He apologized. If he loves you, he's not going to hurt you. Like, my past relationship, I had only a few people knew about it until after I got out of the relationship. Um, That my ex was abusive. And I just used to be like, oh, it's okay. He loved me. He apologized. You know, he's he's still in my life, but he he didn't love me because he used to put his, try to put his hands on me. Or he used to put his hands on me. He don't love you. 
if he hurts you. So, there was a few few uh, things that I wanted to, to speak on because I know us as black women go through so many things and we don't give ourselves enough credit for the things that we go through, for the things that we deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. We always... We put we lower our standards. We put ourselves down because of all the things that we go through, because of the stuff that that happens in our everyday life. And I'm I'm actually I'm tired of seeing it. So I wanted to give advice to our younger black females that are growing up, or even some older females that need somebody to tell them these type of things. They don't have that support system in their life at the moment that's going to let them know everything is going to be okay. Everything is going to be okay. No worries. No worries. No worries. Everything is going to be okay. You are beautiful. You are smart. You are intelligent. And don't let the world and anyone else in this world tell you otherwise. I love you.